Y'all yes. still here? Hello? Yo. Y'all still in there? Y'all still here? Alright, cool, 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 cool. I was good YouTube, long time no see. I finally decided to get back on YouTube because one day this little kid came up to me and asked if I was a YouTuber for some reason. Um, you know, obviously I took that as a sign, so you know, here I am. So I know that my Instagram followers voted for a video about basketball a long time ago. But I've been thinking about life lately and what I want to do in the future, so that's what brings me to this video. Why aren't we making it to the top? I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker or anything. These are just observations and what I learned from those public figures and successful entrepreneurs on Instagram. You know those, you know those people. I just thought it would be cool to make a video about it, alright? Yes, this has been said before. I just feel like I need to acknowledge that I'm aware by sharing to viewers that maybe don't acknowledge it. You know, all you slackers out there. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Alright, let's get into the video. Whether you want to be a rapper, writer, fashion designer, makeup artist, whatever your dream job is, there are a lot of reasons why you're not as close to reaching the status you want to be. And it involves your habits, your atmosphere, and your mindset. Let's start with habits. Think about this. You've had a long and hard day of school. Some of us have been there for seven to eight hours. And you come home with as much as three to five hours of homework. For us college students, you still have a long and hard day of school. But you don't even get to go home, and there's more homework on top of that despite the fewer classes. Some people are going home into the dorm from practice, clubs, tutoring, or work depending on your interests or needs. After that long day of work, I know most of y'all don't just keep working when y'all get home or to your dorm. Cause even I don't, like, who wants to invest half of their day into courses that they'll forget in a year, and then voluntarily continue that right after leaving. When at home or at your dorm, you feel most relaxed throughout the day, so you sit either on your couch or on your bed, Scrolling through whatever social medias you have, queuing up your favorite show on Netflix, or texting that one girl or boy that you're talking to and hopes that they'll end up falling for you. We all look towards resting after school. We actually end up resting way longer than we think we do. 30 minutes turns into an hour, which turns into one more minute. Then you notice that it's 5.13. So then you settle on starting your homework at 5.30. But once you start doing your homework at 5.30, you keep your phone close so that any notification compels you to open your phone for one more minute, only to continue work after seven minutes. I think you guys get my point that all that time adds up, leaving less time to focus on the out of school activities that you guys could potentially make a living out of in the future. What's worked for me is making a schedule of what you plan to do after school, whether you edit photos as soon as you get home or study different fashion brands to develop your own style, do something that makes you happy but not lazy if you know what I mean. Do something productive that doesn't stress you out. And it shouldn't stress you out because there are no due dates and you're actually interested in it without having to pretend to. Also, try putting your phone on Do Not Disturb and taking it off of your desk or your table so you don't know what notifications you get. Another reason why we're nowhere close to the top is the type of atmosphere we put ourselves in. Who has that one friend that spends all day at home watching TV on weekends and on breaks, and the only time they get out of the house is when they're with their friends? Are you one of those friends? Nah, nah. Y'all lazy for real. Y'all lazy for real, bro. In all seriousness though, and I don't mean any disrespect by it, but surrounding yourself with those type of people definitely aren't going to motivate you to work on succeeding in the future. Friends that want to go out to eat or watch movies all the time make you spend a ton of money that you could be saving up for like a new camera or a microphone or new camera. They also steer you away from your focus on what you love and encourage you to be lazier. Just like adapting to customs when you live with someone long enough. Now I'm not saying that you should completely cut your friend off, but Definitely think about the amount of time you're spending with them. Know when your time is valuable and when you have the time to chill. I see my last thing is a lot of things. So it's not really one thing, but that's what we're gonna call it. The last thing has to do with mental toughness and how you think as a consumer and not a creator. Everybody comes from different places and because of that, people can react different towards obstacles like haters and failure. You may have tried once to pursue a passion and when things weren't working out, you stopped trying. But my thing is, if you really want what you want, why stop trying after failing to reach for it once? Think about that for a second. <laughs> Just because you take a test and fail doesn't mean you won't get into college. If you keep trying hard to reach your goal, you'll surely make it. But it depends on how hard you try. Some people are willing to sacrifice their social lives, their expenses, their hygiene. I'm just playing about that one. You really gotta be in your own lane to be ahead of the average person. But it's all a matter of if you're down for that. And I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it.
that's it. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. And if y'all made it to the end, y'all really love me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to this channel for more and funnier content. Deuces. We got some new bands, we got some new bands, yeah, yeah. We got some new bands, we got some new bands, yeah, yeah. Treating these deals like this is old bands, yeah, yeah. I fucked that little bitch, told her just bring her friends, yeah, yeah.